Boy. Yes, sir. Ah, I was wondering about this. Atreus, follow me. Not long now, Mom. broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. The broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good. Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing.
okay, yeah? I see improvement. Must be somewhere. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. The drunken Vader can't actually get drunk. You know why we're here. My last visit managed to loosen your tongue. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. It's not company this time. It must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy took their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! 
First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. The boy. The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. to find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. house yes the woods with the blood red leaves south of the lake I know just where to go I hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back you seem nice before you cut off his head Stay on the path. mother now. Where you came from. Mother, father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No. Oh. 
old bat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Tanker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Mm. He eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up. In his work, Sentry has it to sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit pister? What do you know? I just mean Hey, that do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. So what'd you find out there? What you need, kid? Come back soon with more crap, you What is the path back to the witch? First we need to find a boat. Back to the witch from here. That way, behind the big statue of Thor.
I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft. And we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. This will lead out. Betray us here. Boy. Sir. It's another one of those maps. <laughs> it's magically locked. Oh, 
sand up there. That I did the runes into? Not sure how we reach it though. Okay, well, that's way too far to jump. This will be fun. with those wooden boards in the way. It is. It's another one of those sand bowls. There are different rooms running along the side of this one. Say. Another riddle. Feed me not, we both are doomed. Overfeed me, all consumed. Hmm. The answer might be near, like the other. The answer's gotta be written around here somewhere, right? I see something on the ceiling, but it's blocked by those wooden boards. See there? <laughs> I see it now. It says fire. Of course. Bow. smart. Thank <laughs> you. 
Turn back ASU. Guess the guys are welcome here. Isn't that heavy? Yes. Doesn't seem like it. Follow me, Atreus.
There he is. I hope he remembers us. Boy, over here. Hold on, let me read this. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Got him. Looks like we got him all. Save their neat things upon all who trust them. Another one of those sandals. What does it say? Falcon, Hawk, and Turtle Dove. Some of lost in oceans above. Huh? Those runes on the rock. They don't spell anything. It's gibberish. Can you read it? 
Yes, sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. I'm sure we'll find the answer around here somewhere. Enemies ahead! Here, boy. Oh! The rest of the runes were hidden over the hill. That's Vinder. Wind! Back to the sand bowl.
droid. Sir. Vinya. Look what it did! She is here. It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. What's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Pamela! It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. What? Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. It speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist.
So, Mamir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. How do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor, and seen as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. 
You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. <laughs> Remembers me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunkun. Echo no Tunno Funno. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Ooh. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad.
Lemire, you were in the middle of a story before. What were you saying about the Long War? Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. That gate. We never did open it. Should we give it a try?
can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Bjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Bjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And we'll pick this up later. me, God of Thunder! Your challenges mean nothing to the God's spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue that went over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Why do you hate Thor so much? After my father passed, my mother built the statue. <laughs> it's great. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. At first we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually, I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come, boy. We have a statue to destroy.
I'm getting better at it. Father's grave lies on an island to the east. And do not mistake my mother's statue of Thor with that monstrous eyesore to the south. One whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Could his story be a reminder? The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. Good.
So you were saying Odin was lonely? That's why he was always at war? Nothing quite so simple. But I hoped that love might temper him and give us a chance for peace. And after no small amount of convincing, they are agreed. And we'll pick this up later. This is where the tower to Jotunheim should be. Feels strange somehow. No doubt some arcane magics were involved. I would be not at all surprised to learn you were sensitive to that. So what was it like when Odin and Freya got married? For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted us so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. You know what? I'll tell this one later.
So what was it like when Odin and Freya got married? The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. He won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity.
Them. Watch out! 
It is over. doesn't fall far.
on one vicious son of a bitch. Got another favor to ask you to. What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Vari. Meet me at the Lonsuther Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or you just gonna stand there all gag-scrapped and slack-jawed? Pulled the ring off on Vari's hand at the Vellander Mines. Feller was always tampering with souls and dark rituals and matters of the night, see? Just the sound of his hammer flattening metal were enough to stoke my fires all blissful. Shit, you better clear out before I get all frisky. What you need? What's it gonna be?
Now there's some... Look here. Yes, sir. Vaythargar. Southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. I'd heard rumors of a powerful Dwarven Ruling over some poor sods not far from What's here. What's got you all bumbling over there? Get going. better at this. <laughs> what happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well... Scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. Curse the Dwarf King, Bane of Mankind. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They are dead now. Does it matter? No, I'm just curious. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Stay focused. Wow. 
begin to build statues this big? Dwarves are resourceful creatures. Annoying, but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. Okay. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran get the hermit in the woods? Well, here it is. It's got to have a weak point. Somewhere. Break this up, boy! are doing this himself. easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. No, are they a joking matter? Sorry. Okay. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran up her That sounds like a dragon.
step was difficult. Hey, that could be valuable. Watch out for the dragon breath. I am aware of it, boy. Yeah! 
three chain dragons, is it? The shrine must be related. There were three rooms on the pedestal. We've got to find the other two or three. It does not concern us. I know, but... Guard your emotions, boy. Your enemies will not hesitate to use them against you. Yes, sir. Guess this actually was a pretty big set. No longer. to me.
they say, boy? Sure. It means to believe or to have faith. So they still had faith in their king? Even after he got so many of them killed? It is a command to have faith despite his failures. That's right. Queen of the Hunt, they called her. That's her father. And all the animals she hunted. He taught her well. In the last battle. Her father again. Both of them. In the snow. And they're still there. It's quite a story. one behind you. Dwarf King made his subjects hunt dragons. Another monsters for him? Some king, huh? Your side. 
father? You may want to see this. Looks like that lever over there will free him. You will attack. I know, but it feels wrong to keep someone caged like this. Hmm. Your emotions again, boy. You can't hear their thoughts. I can. Ignore them, and ready yourself. Okay. thinking now well nothing but he was grateful to die in battle instead of rotting in a cage your skill is improving you fought well atreus thank you father Air feels good. Now we find out if dragons can be grateful or not. Please don't eat us. 
Just don't eat us. Boy, prepare yourself. Ah. <laughs>